During the pandemic, everyone was at home and in desperate need of entertainment. That's why things like gaming, YouTube, Twitch and streaming services skyrocketed in popularity. Everyone had at least one subscription and oftentimes you saw someone with five different memberships and this hasn't changed to this day. Everything is fine and well until you look at the cost of everything. Getting the middle plans of the three most popular streaming services costs a whopping 38 and a half dollars. That's a full Mario Kart. Okay, two thirds of a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe per month. So is it necessary to pay so much for permission to access? Yes, you don't even own them. Your favorite shows and movies? We'll talk about this in today's video. So, the things that you need for this procedure are some legally obtained movies, a NAS with TrueNAS score installed, and of course some patience. Please note that backing up and digitalizing movies is a legal grey area, especially if you don't own the movies, so do it at your own risk. I started by preparing some movies to copy. The movies I chose are all the James Bond movies on DVD. They're all palette region with copy protection. Ah yes, copy protection is a way for corporate businessmen to suck even more money out of us and prevent us from archiving these beautiful movies. You can easily bypass them by using software like WinX and Make MKV. I will be using the latter as it is free to use. I started by plopping the desired movie disc into my Aces disc reader. On my PC I opened Make MKV and checked if the label and disc information are correct. After that I clicked the drive icon and waited for a few minutes for the configuration to end. You may see some stuff pop up in this checkbox below but you can ignore it. Once it finished I pressed the make mkv button, pressed yes and waited for another 30 to 45 minutes. This depends on the length and resolution of your movie. While on this screen you can see some useful information like transfer speed, size of the file and estimated time remaining. Now open your directory and check if the copy was successful. When it's all done, repeat this process for every single movie you want to copy. After that, you can close Make MKV. Now we get to the Plex part. I know alternatives exist like Jellyfish, so why did I choose Plex? Firstly, Plex has a first party plugin for TrueNAS Core, and secondly, it is the biggest platform, therefore it has the most support. After logging in, navigate to the plugins menu and find Plex Media Server. I have this already installed, but you would have to press install, name the plugin to whatever tool you like, and wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to install. The plugin automatically turns on, but you need to shut it down. Now navigate to directories and create a folder called Plex Media and a subfolder Movies. Important note here, do not configure ACL. Instead, select these two checkboxes in the edit permission settings. Go back to plugins and press mount point. Select the folder we just created as the source and media as the destination folder. Exit out of this menu and press start. Copy the provided IP address now, you are greeted with this login page. If you don't have a Plex account, this is the time to make one, either by signing up with Google or with these other options. Next, select the library. Select movies, press the slash here, media over here and finally press add. The last step is up to you. And now you're done with setting up Plex. Navigate to our movies folder. Here, copy your movies but with a very specific name. Create a folder with the name of the movie. 
then the year it was first released in round brackets and finally type IMDB dash the movie ID from the IMDB website that as you see here in these fancy brackets. Copy this folder name and rename your video file to the exact same name and put it in the folder. That's it! The last thing you need to do is to download the Plex app on your TV and or mobile device. Log in and if the movie doesn't show up, press scan library files. Now you can sit back and enjoy watching your movies. Anyways guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this different video style. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Oh.